everyone welcome back to the channel today we are diving into something truly exciting we are going to create an animation in unreal engine using ai we'll begin using prompt to generate a 2d ai image then upscale it to enhance the quality once the image is ready we'll be using a website to create a 3d character based on the image afterwards we'll be importing the model apply a character animation using Mixmo, and finally we are bringing everything together in a real engine using sequencer this tutorial is completely free and easy to follow so let's dive into it i found this website to give the best result and i'll leave a link in the description you can import images or text in my case i'm gonna do a prompt and it's gonna be soldier character facing the camera in a t pose while i'm happy with my prompt i'm gonna click enter what I like about this website that can give you different variations of the prompt and you can see you can scrub through, you can change them based on your style. In my case, I'm gonna use this soldier and it's very important the arms should be detached from the body. Otherwise, we will now work in Miximo. I'm very happy about this character. I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna save this image into my computer. I'm gonna rename it. After we are happy with the 2D image, what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna use a website to upscale the resolution of our current image. So let's do this one. And now we're going to use this upscale image website. I'll leave the link in the description as well. I'm going to import my character into it. And you have different ways to upscale. And in my case, I'm gonna use an upscale of 4K and very important, enhance quality on. You can see now that the character has been upscaled just a tiny bit, the quality has been improved and I'm very happy. I'm gonna click download. I'm gonna rename to keep everything organized. I'm gonna do soldier high res. I'm gonna click enter. Now that we brought a couple of more details to our character, it's time for us to convert this image into a 3D model. I'm going to use this website link is going to be provided in the description so i'm going to just drag and drop my image because my image has been upscaled it's going to take a little bit more than usual to process and upload so once it's uploaded we're going to see the image showing in the viewport they have different settings that you can adjust in my case i'm going to leave it as it is so i'm going to close this one and now I'm gonna click generate and as I said it might take a little while until the image is gonna be processed because now it's an upscale image and it's gonna take a little bit longer as we can see we just created a character based on that image which is very very cool we're gonna click extract GLB and as we can see that the character has been generated and now we can see it with a texture if you close up the details are not gonna be the best so this character is best to use far in a background so once i'm happy with the character all i'm gonna do i'm gonna just download glb now that we have the 3d character what i'm gonna be doing as an extra step i'm gonna be using blender to smooth out the mesh and make it look a bit better in blender we are going to import this character delete everything in the viewport and click file import gltf we gotta choose these options and we're gonna import the character import and now the character is gonna be looking in a viewport. We're gonna select it by click on the character and we are going to object shade smooth. We need to click these options to make our mesh smooth. Once you're happy, I'm gonna position my character to the origin just to be above the origin, just a tiny bit right here. I'm gonna make sure that it's on all perspective. It matches, it's on the origin very happy how it looked we're gonna export this character and import it into Miximo. so let's do that file export we're gonna do an fpx export and here we're gonna click the select objects and now we're finding the folder and rename this to keep things organized i'm gonna do soldier 
FBX and then I'm gonna click export. Now the character is ready to be animated. So I'm gonna bring the character into maximum and apply different animations. After I sign in, you can see here that you have the options to upload the character. This is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna import the character exported from Blender to here. We're gonna click next and then we have to auto rig our character using place markers so this is the reference you know how you should be doing i'm gonna start with the chin wrists all the way as i said it's very important that the arms should be detached from the body sometimes prompts may not do that and would stick the arms next to the body so very important use an image that has the character arms detached the body and the last one is going to be growing and it's going to be right here now we are ready what we can do i don't want to attach a rig to my fingers so i'm going to click no fingers and click next here we have a preview of how the character is going to be animated so very happy how it ended up i'm going to click next and now we can add the different animations to our character so let's dive into adding an animation so i'm gonna go for a basic one running and here you can see different styles of running you can use whatever you want in my case i'm gonna use this one as you can see the character is running and it's acting like we want i'm gonna use in place options just to go a little bit closer and to just make sure that everything is right if the animation is working perfectly as you can see the arms is are a bit going through the body the frames of how many frames this animation should be so i'm gonna just extend this and now it seems like the arms are just going into the body so i'm gonna extend the space of the arms and now the arms should act just fine and i'm gonna put a little bit speed on the character because i'm gonna use in my environment and now i'm gonna unclick in place because i want the character to be able to run we are going to download our character very important choose the frame rate that's gonna match your sequence your project in my case it's gonna be 24 i'm gonna use with skin and then download i'm gonna save this into my computer very important what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna use a t pose uh, animation this is important for me to connect the animation in a real engine so i'm gonna click on t pose and now you can see the animation i'm gonna click on download and as well i'm gonna click 24 frames per second and click export and that's it this is the final step of this process we are going to bring the animation and the t pose inside a real engine and create the animation inside the sequencer now i'm going to bring everything in a real engine and start making our animation i'm gonna right click to create a folder i'm going to just create a folder and then i'm gonna call this soldier here what we're gonna do we're gonna import our t pose first so i'm gonna just drag and drop into my animation very important skeleton mesh selected important mesh selected and now on the bottom create new materials so i'm gonna click import now as we can see we have our t pose our skeleton physics and skeleton animation now what we can do we can import the running into my into the animation and a very important skeleton t pose skeleton should match with the one imported this looks fine and i'm gonna click import right so what we're gonna do right now i want to texture the character and i want to bring the texture into it so i'm gonna create a folder i'm gonna name it texture and i'm gonna dive in and import the glb assets that we downloaded from the 3d website everything looks fine i'm gonna hit click import and now what we're gonna be doing i'm gonna take the texture from here move it into the main folder move here and now dive into it what we can do we're gonna open up the material we're gonna delete the current texture and on the left bottom side we have the content drawer and what we can do here we can dive into our folder called soldier and bring the texture into the uh, material uh, i'm gonna connect it to the base color and by press one i'm gonna create a constant and i'm gonna hook it to the metallic 
to the specular and to the roughness as you can see the texture has gaining more contrast and it looks overall much better so i'm gonna click save and what we can do we're gonna import our character into the scene so very important let me just dive into the scene here very close put it right next to us to the camera bam 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 we're gonna fast forward a little bit this process um because the character was a little bit smaller i just scale it up just a tiny bit to be the right size and now i'm going to import the animation into unreal engine as you can see the scale is quite small so i'm going to scale it up a bit i want to see the animation through the sequencer i'm going to create an add sequence level i'm going to name it uh, new level sequence soldier i'm gonna click save and now i'm going to create the cine camera actor and place it into the sequencer right i'm gonna go look for my character it should be all the way here yeah because our character is a very low poly and the details are not quite good when we get a close-up i'm gonna go all the way in the back like a wider shot i'm gonna delete that character from the scene from the outliner i'm gonna bring the animation into the sequencer and as you can see here we have the animation all you have to do is click plus and click running animation and now the animation should be added to your character same one that has been using maximum and if you click play it's gonna run and that's pretty much it for this tutorial i really like how this ai tool can speed up your workflow you don't have to be a modeler nowadays to create cool character models and nice animations although it's a very low quality the technology is going to improve and things is going to get better as the time goes on if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe i'm trying to bring more educational content and i will see you in the next one